Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to Omdi2. Welcome back to our showcase of the upcoming uh, Master Switch Veiling uh, bus pack, which is obviously uh, still no date to be announced yet, but upcoming uh, bus pack. So we're having a look today at a couple more variants. We also have our giveaway. This will be the last stream I'm going to do now until release. Uh, Aerosoft did release their keys to other content creators today. Uh, so there'll be a lot more content across YouTube for everyone else uh, to get involved. So I'm not going to stream anymore. This will be the last one before release anyways. And then obviously we'll I'll do videos and bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, so first things first, welcome. Uh, here we're at Scumfork 2020. Uh, we're going to do the 4, I believe, in the 13.1. Uh, so this is the newer variant of the uh, B8. As you can see, 13.1. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, I've changed all the settlers now for what I want. I got the list and I did it properly. Uh, so I've actually put this bus together how I wanted it. And the same with all the rest of the buses that I've started to gather in Simply Connect's bus company. As some of you would have realized, uh, the bus is already starting to gather in the company uh, quite a bit right now. So anyways, next thing is... Hello to everyone. I can't say hello to everyone. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of you here. Hello, hello, hello. A lot of you are new faces. Some of you are my casual faces. Uh, hello to everybody that is there. Uh, all my mods, members, and everybody else. Kevin Graham, I can see there. Imran, Adrian Martinez, uh, Games UK, Prince. Uh, a lot of my managers are here for Simply Connect as well. Uh, hello, hello to everyone. So, I've got three keys to give away. Now, how this is going to work is you will not get the key until release. Now, if that takes three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, five years, whatever it takes, one day, once it has been released that morning, I will give you the key, okay? So I can't hand it out until that point. Second of all, the three keys that I've got, one of them is going to my bus company managers. There are maybe 11 or 12 of them. They're gonna get one for a big thank you. Um, so they have their own giveaway inside the Discord that only they can get hold of as a big thank you to them. Um, obviously, Simply Connect have never got this far without them. It's been two years of a public company. Uh, we have 99 drivers and we're still going strong. So it's a huge effort by those guys, mainly them. I don't do so much. I'll be honest, I leave it to them. So they've got a key for themselves. They've got to give away. So any of you that are my managers, oh my God, I got the old alerts up. Uh, any of you that are my managers, go into Discord and you will see that you have your own private giveaway. Uh, the second key is going to anyone that works in the bus company. There's a hundred drivers there as a thank you to them for supporting us, uh, driving with us, supporting my channel. They have a key to themselves. Uh, they have a giveaway to themselves that they can currently see right now and they can um, enter into it if they wish. So far, there's a few of them as I can see here on the side. So any of you that actually drive Simply Connect, make sure you go on to the bus chat for you guys and you will see it and then the other key i will give out to any one of you guys okay so any of you guys can win this all you need to do is put in your exclamation mark veiling and you'll be popping up on nightbot um now don't type it too many times if you type it too many times the uh bot will get rid of your uh your entry okay so i put it if you spam it more than four times I was being fair, not just once, four times. Uh, Nightbot will automatically get rid of you, okay? Nightbot will be throwing out that giveaway. So we'll see how we go. It's been quite popular, you never know. Uh, before release, we might do one more stream and we might give away another one. We'll see how I feel. Um, so there we go. That's that stuff out of the way. We're here. This is the 13.1. Uh, the I think someone pointed out it's supposed to be 13.2 in real life. Um, I've not driven this variant uh, for sure. So it looks quite nice, quite low, obviously needs some air put into it. So what you're going to see on this one today that's different is I've put the cameras inside. So after we've done this first run, hopefully I'm going to share you the uh, setvar list. Okay, so all the different bits and pieces, we're going to bring up the list on the screen and we're going to go through all the little bits that you can change and do before we do the next run. Uh, so yeah, so I have put in uh, the cameras in. That's what I've decided to go for in this one as it's a bit more of a modern bus, I suppose, compared to the B7s. Um, unfortunately, it'd be nice if this one was just a bit closer here. Uh, so, you know, yeah, you know, so I wouldn't have to turn my head. But So we're still going to have to turn our head. But anyways, it's okay. And this one's obviously got the ticketer. If we go down the bus then itself, I think I'll put the, uh, I've got a, is it the, uh, the high top? Yeah. Uh, for the seats, obviously we don't have any, uh, I haven't sorted out the seating or inside the bus yet. 
um, but it all looks good. This repaint, because it was so long, Simply Connect looked a bit lost. Uh, so what I've done, I put a nice MS sticker on this one. So this is the one that will have the Master Switch Studios uh, emblem. I think it looks all right. Not look too bad. I wanted it to be bigger, um, but it was a too much of a ball lake trying to line up the windows. So I stopped. <laughs> uh, MC Zoe, just subscribe. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please don't spam the veiling. Yeah, we only need to enter once. Uh, I can't read the chat, so I'm letting you guys do that for a few minutes now before we get on and I start reading chats. Andrew Biden, hello. Nice bus, thank you, mate. Caden Kemp, hello. I'm late. Well, like, I was two minutes late. You all forget I live in Ireland. We live on Irish time. Uh, if we say we're going to be there, we're not going to be there for at least, you know, a couple of hours afterwards, usually. So, you know, for me to be about five minutes late every day is not that bad. Trust me. Uh, so, yeah, I think it looks really good. Um, really, really good. Right, so we're going to do the four, if I remember rightly. So let's turn on the bus. Okay. So it's building up some air pressure. Let's get some lighting on. Ticketer's just loading in. Uh, I've decided to go for the one with the... Uh, the uh, armor guard thing. Inside mirrors. Yep, this one's going to have inside mirrors. I'll be there soon. Yeah, generally that is how it kind of goes, doesn't it? We'll be there soon. Uh, Irish people are never on time. Okay then, now that's kind of done. Should we throw our card on? Okay, so. Oh. Uh, three, nine. Oh, sorry, what the hell am I doing? I'm putting in the pin. I am putting in the pin. Three, nine, two, two. Doesn't matter how many times you do this. Okay, we've got to accept. And accept again. There we go. We're good. Ticketer is online and running. Let's put the bus into drive. Uh, Brandon has uh, donated five euros. Thank you, mate. Much appreciated. Much, much appreciated. I don't know why it hasn't popped up on the screen. It might do in a minute. Uh, hello to everyone that's just joining us. Hello, hello. There's so many of you. Hello, hello. It's nice to see you all. So yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy this. So yeah, this one has got a nice big tail on after the axis. It's a big axis, obviously, and uh, that's a, it's a good distance there. That's kind of like the coaches that we drive. Our wheelbase is actually in a little bit more. Uh, it's got a huge ass end on some of the ones that we have here. So there we go. We are on the number four. That's good. Uh, I've got the orange displays in this one. I thought it would be different from the newer white, but I probably should have put the white in it thinking about it now. I think the white does look nicer. But anyways, I can always change that later. Let's get the bus into drive. Uh, stand M. I can never remember where that is. I haven't driven Scumforth in a while. That's N. L. Where's N? Is it where he currently is? It is, isn't it? Right, when are we due off? Two minutes. So I don't know why he's there. Right, sort out the cameras. What we might have to do... Let's skip a bit of time just to get rid of him. Uh, so we might start a bit late. Mm, didn't go to plan, did it? When is this ass leaving?
He's so not leaving, is he? <laughs> um, oh, cheers, uh, Games UK. Hello to everyone that is joining us. Hello, hello. I think the MS logo on the back would look better white or darker red. I don't know, I thought I quite like the blue. Maybe. Okay, apparently he's the four to Lakeside. Even though BCS is supposed to get rid of... Uh, Okay, let's get them on board. Let's get comfy here. Nice. Right, let's get the heating on. Master Studio has done an amazing job with this pack. Yeah, it's, it, they've done a fantastic job. Fantastic job. Okay, big tail, remember, guys. Doesn't help that a man just walked out in front of us. There we go. Oh, well, what can we do? So hopefully everyone's having a, a good day, a good Monday. Is it Monday? It is Monday, isn't it? Uh, Imran, thank you, mate. Thank you for all the shares and stuff as well, guys. Do we have a Discord to claim the giveaway? Uh, you'll have to be in my Discord, yet yeah, uh, if you're going to contact me for it, because obviously release isn't today. So you'll have to at least hang around in my Discord for a little while. At the very, very least. So like I said, bus drivers, anyone for Simply Connect, do you have a giveaway? inside the discord for you guys only uh, so any of you guys please don't forget can't wait for the Gemini 1 pack to release so I think we've done most of the variants now there's a few kind of the same but a little bit different obviously between you know the gaskets and not um, I think my my two favorite believe it or not is probably been The Eco Life B7, the very first one we drove, I just loved the engine sound. So it was just like the one I drive at work. Uh, I thought it was absolutely stunning. And uh, I quite like the Falcon too, just for something different. The articulator was quite nice. International Omsi News, hello, how are you? How is everyone? What would it look like if OMSI 2 was made for phone and iPad? Probably exactly the same. <laughs> Let's be honest. I think there's, you can play GTA on my phone, which is like better graphics than this. And frame rate. <laughs> Let's be honest. Uh, you sad to come back from your holiday? Yeah, you, I just saw you come back from somewhere in North Yorkshire. Which one are we driving now? We're currently in the 13.1 B8. So we're in the uh, larger variant B8. Wondering where my mirror was then. Tired, exhausted, burnt out, not drunk. <laughs> it's only a Monday. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What's the next bus for OMG 2? I don't know, we were discussing that last night, weren't we? Um, what we all think would be next. I think the Omnidecker, no? You'd think once uh, Valen gets released, or do you mean what am I going to drive next? CCS events uh, depots be full of these. <laughs> yeah, well, the depot has no room as it is. I've already started filling the depot. You'll notice depot three. So to get to uh, the lovely buses, you all have to walk the furthest. 
Uh, does the B7 have the old style dashboard with the orange screen? Yeah. Uh, we'll drive a B7 next, all right? London buses loves my videos. Well, thank you, mate. Much appreciated. It's good that somebody does. Uh, risk assessment for next week. Oh, nice. Commander Anderson, good evening, Mike Ray. Hello, mate. No, I adore you. I'm watching on YouTube, mate. Yeah, no worries. No worries, Mike. Uh, when we're doing a CCS. Yeah, some people have been asking me that. Well, look, we did a few and nobody turned up. So I took a bit of a break from them. I thought maybe... Ah, oh, bloody... Hosts. Uh, we took a bit of a break for a couple of weeks. Um, but obviously with this coming out... Depending when this comes out, look, uh, we can only speculate. But once this pack is released, we'll do a CCS either that day or within like a day or two of this pack being released, okay? Whoa, phone's ringing. What do I need? There's a competition on the radio. Call the following number if you want to participate. Oh, wow, okay, what does this give us? 0372 I'm gonna get told off for this, aren't I? My thing's in the way. I don't know what we got. Did I get some money? Did I win the competition? That's the first time I've had that one. Uh, what route do I like on London in this map? To be honest with you... London's a tricky one. I have some favourite routes, but they're like in real life kind of routes. Um, and the routes that I actually prefer the ones that are so laggy I don't drive, so... It's a tough one. Uh, this is the BCS Pro thing. Yeah, you get events and stuff that pop up. Oh, I got 500 euro. Nice. Uh, I won. Yeah, we won the competition. Uh, Gaff Davies, how do I join your bus company? You need to own a copy of Bus Company Simulator from PDP. Uh, and then you just uh, side up to the company. We have 99 drivers. They are very active. There's been about 10 to 15 drivers on all day driving today, which has been fantastic. Uh, yeah. That's easy. All you have to do is look for multiplayer companies and you'll see us on the list. We're a gold rated company, so you'll find us near the top. I won a £200 fine and six points. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. <laughs> Imagine doing that. Well, to be honest with you, at our work, they couldn't care less if we use our phones. Uh, so, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if we did do that. Uh, you'll be back in a bit. No worries, no worries. You're currently having problems logging in. Uh, what, to the bus company? Just make sure you verify your BCS files and stuff, or whatever. I'm so annoyed just driving bus in the Route 1 and moving my TV over, and I dropped it as it was too heavy, which I didn't realise and cracked it, so just went in to get a new TV. Oh, man. That's rough. There's nothing worse when you do things like that. I remember once I was playing FIFA online. I used to play FIFA online a lot. I was a huge... I, mean, I love FIFA now, but you guys wouldn't watch it. Um... Oh, Max the dog is here. Max, Max, give. What have you got? Max. Nah, oh, he's run off. Um, I mean, I was a huge FIFA fan and I was playing online and you get these people online, especially like these younger kids, like, you know, they always throw a tantrum when you score one goal and they log off or, you know, they start beating me like 5-0. But what he was doing, and there's some young kid laughing at me as well, which was winding the hell out of me. And... Um, he kept scoring the same goal. He just kept running up the ring, crossing in. He was doing the same thing over and over again. And he scored so many times. He got so mad. I threw my Xbox remote. Uh, it hit the floor. It bounced up and smashed the window. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Can't get sacked from Aaron. Yeah, you can't get sacked from bus Aaron. We'd have to literally... You could probably, you know, really hurt someone and you still have a job tomorrow. The game itself is trying to log me into Steam account where all my details have changed. Uh, yeah, it gets messy like that. Yep, the UK dog mascot is here. I don't know what he's got. Max. Max. I'm trying to drive a bus, man. Hang on. <sighs> Sorry, he had an empty packet on him. And he's going to drive me insane. There you go, he's gone. Show Max. He's just run off because I took the thing off him. He might come back. They can't use CCTV against you here in, in, uh, in Ireland, no. 
Only if the guards want to, they can. They can ask for the CCTV footage, but my company can't actually use anything against us. Unions are too strong here in Ireland. Uh, we are currently in the B8, 13.1 meter. 13.1 meter. Show Max, yeah, ma when Max comes back, uh, we'll say hello. He'll be back. We can hear him sniffing around. Zero sixty in this is quite slow. Everyone wants the dog. <laughs> Someone even left a comment about the dog. Cameron, was it you? I think it was you. Uh, at least you can drive buses. I can't because of brain defect. Ah. Oh. I'm sure you can still drive buses. In the game, at least. Did I join the company? I can't remember. Stephen Lees, I think you did. Um, I, I don't think you stuck with it. I, I don't know, to be honest with you. Is there somewhere cheap to buy BCS? So I actually have a discount key from uh, PDP that you can use if you buy the Steam key from their own website. And it'll give you a key that you enter into Steam. I think I get you about 20 to 30% off. Okay, so yeah, I can give you a key, but it's in the Discord, and uh, maybe someone will pop it up there for people. Uh, what breed is Max? He is a Springer Spaniel. Uh, am I the only one who wonders if Studio Polygon and Master of Us work as, as the same people but focus on different tasks? Uh, yeah, I think we should leave that conversation out of this one. <laughs> Uh, someone needs to get off. Oh, yeah, they do, hey. I'm too busy focusing on the dog. Won't be able to turn this corner like this because I can't see a thing. Yeah, Max will be back. Don't worry, guys. Max will be back. I know we have to go very wide here, but I can't see. Nah, I can't do it. Okay, yeah, we should let somebody off. Uh, so what I will do as well, let's start a ticket inspection. I do have an inspector on the bus, so we might as well do that. This is another feature of the premium. Literally everybody got off but two. Okay, great. <laughs> Everyone still wants Max. Uh, I wish I could in real life, but my brain shut off at any minute with zero warnings. Like, I can only enjoy the computer whilst enjoying playing CCS with the gang. Well, at least there's something there, you know, you can... Uh, at least imagine, I suppose. Yeah, these do rattle quite nicely, don't they? Uh, train Mad just described. Thank you, mate. Much appreciated, as always. Should actually concentrate on the route. For any of you that don't know, I did post an up-to-date picture of the Renown yesterday in the Discord. Didn't get as much activity as I expected. It was an one and only access. 2024. <laughs> Got two hours of a B5TL, Gemini 3, we were just left Scarborough, bound for York. Ooh, nice. Oh, hang on. Uh, comfy seat and a really fast driver. Oh, that sounds good. Must be. I'm I'm a pretty fast driver myself in real life. I do more I do more coaches now. Ah, uh, bus day out. Nice. I think my last passenger wants to already get off. My favorite bus, not my fat bus. Uh. It, I, I, everyone always asks me this. To be honest with you, I don't mind what I drive. I do prefer Volvos. I think they're just a bit nicer, comfier for the driver. Um, but some of the nicest stuff I've driven, 
Yeah, it's a tough one. There's lots of stuff I've driven. I've driven some old stuff, new stuff, everything. What's a work in progress? Coaches are better. Haters gonna hate. That's true. Look, I prefer I prefer coaches in, in all. Uh, Springers are the superior dog. Well, he definitely thinks he's the superior dog. That's for sure. Max, <laughs> he'll be back. I promise. Uh, do I like the E200 MMC? As in, in the game or real life now? MMCs in real life, I'm not a huge fan of, okay? Uh, main reason is I just find it very heavy to drive when you're on a 12-hour day. I just, it, it, yeah, it's too much. I, I don't enjoy it. Yeah, my day's been all right. Pretty chill, pretty quiet. Uh, you need to go onto the Tea and Biscuits Lounge. And scroll up. Street decks to drive, they're nice, yeah. They're not very powerful. That's the only problem. Like, they are weak as hell. Five miles an hour up the smallest hill. But they're comfy. They're comfy. Maybe you should try this bus in London. <laughs> Maybe if uh, BDOT does some... Uh, some hoffs, we'll see, maybe. Right down my way last month, went into limp mode. Wouldn't go above 25. Ah, oh, that's brutal. I was working for National Express and I caught fire on just after Bath on the uh, on the M4. That was probably the worst one. And the road was mental busy and I didn't even realize there was smoke coming out of the back of the bus. It was everyone else telling me. I only found my love for buses recently. I mean, further away from my school, meaning I had to take a bus to school. Oh, nice. Uh, Restart is the pack out yet? Not yet. Street decks are rapid in the UK. Um, I don't find them rapid at all. I mean, look, after a bit of time, they will speed up. But, like, as soon as you hit the smallest of, like, I wouldn't even say, a, you know, a hill. Uh, you know, speed bump, <laughs> then that's it. They just, they're so slow. So slow. But, same time, probably the most comfiest bus is when you're sitting in all day. People forget, when you're actually a bus driver and you're sitting in that cab, and you'll probably be in that one cab for a good four hours solid before you break, like, you want it to be comfy. You want it to be, you know, easy. As long as you can reach your ticket machine without turning all the time, and, you know, you, some buses, like the B7s that we had, the seat wouldn't go forward enough, so I couldn't reach the pedals. Uh, and I, even though I liked driving it because it was rapid, I couldn't reach the pedals. So what I had to do was tilt the seat forward just to make sure I could <laughs> reach the pedals. Dangerous as that probably is. Uh, that's what I had to do for a long time. And, uh, you know, I still found that bus extremely comfy, believe it or not. But yeah, when you're all day in a bus, like, it really does take it out of you. You know, the job is not a, a hard job. You know, this is one of the easiest jobs you'll ever have. But mentally, it's tiring. You know, being on the road that long, there's a lot of idiots on the road. You know, there, there's... You get all kinds of weird situations. Yeah, it, it, it's, it mentally does, you know, it is tough. Pure back, hello, mate. No street decks in Dublin, so I've yet to be on one. I think they're really nice to be on. I, I think they, they're very smooth. Uh, the gearboxes are very smooth. Uh, but I've just, just... They are slow. Slow on a hill. Uh, when are you doing GTA next? Probably tomorrow or Wednesday. One or the other. And inside a gamer is T. Rude. Huh? Sitaros, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like the seating position for me. I've got a very short leg and uh, yeah, I've never been a fan, but the, the Turismo coaches are quite nice to drive. Uh, when I used to do the tours here down to the cliffs some more, um, I used to have a, a Turismo uh, and that was a lovely thing to drive. It was a 2018 plate and it was smooth. It was pretty quick. It was quite comfy, I'd say. 
inside his cool. Yeah, I, I have no idea what they're saying about me. <laughs> People either love me or they hate me. I, I, you know, whatever. I have fun and that's all I care about. It's retarded that lets them down a bit too, makes breaks grubby. Do you think? I don't know, I think ours are quite nice. What name? Have I been called a name? I love these people. No, I don't see it. No idea. <laughs> uh, I hate traffic anywhere. Traffic doesn't bother me. You know what I do as a driver? I put my ear, ear pod in or whatever, the air pod, whatever you call them. I put it in my ear. I listen to podcasts or I listen to uh, reading books, you know, where someone reads you the book, whatever they're called. I forget. Um, and yeah, I just enjoy my day. Some people get on, you say hello, say goodbye, happy days, drive around. And when you're stuck in traffic for hours, as long as, you know, I'm not ready to go home, sit back, getting paid, listening to my crap on my phone, happy days. I don't mind it. Ignore the haters. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Uh, I see that Simply Connect was getting a lot of hate recently on some of the OMSI discords as well. Like, I don't know if people think I'm offended. I'm, re I'm really not. Uh, do you like the G3? Yeah, I love the G3. I had a Turismo last year, picked me up from school, and the driver was a mad man. Did a run they should have done 30, 40 minutes and 20 minutes. Turismos are nice, the coaches. But we're not allowed to use headphones while driving a bus. Um, you can in Ireland, put it that way. So basically, on the coaches especially, we don't have the systems for them to talk to us. We have to have our mobile phones on us at all times with an earpiece or earphones. Uh, so we're allowed them because if we have any problems or if they need to contact me for road closures or diversions or something changes or if they want me to do overtime, they're gonna call my mobile phone. They, they can't use the uh, the IBA system on, on the, the expressway. And some of the city buses, even though it has the system, it never bloody works. So they call your mobile, or if they call you on the bus, I just ignore them. And then they'll just start calling my mobile because I'm ignoring them. So yeah, it, it's not a big deal here. Not a big deal. It's the inspectors calling us more than anything else. Uh, and they call a lot. Gonna drive an X5 in Yorkshire? Nice. Ooh. I think we're nearly done with this route, aren't we? I didn't get many passengers because for some reason there's a bus in front of us doing the same bloody job. Had a mega uh, rail location earlier, which was an Omni deck instead of a 400 MMC. You usually remember a lot of the new buses are getting slower because of all this new hybrid generations. You know, the, the even like here now, we have all the MMC hybrids and, you know, they've only got like a, I can't remember what litre engine it is now, top of my head, very small litre engine, mainly running on electric power, you know, our diesel engines only kick in for X amount of time and, uh, you know, all this new hydro stuff. Buses aren't going to get faster because obviously they think of safety, they're only going to get slower for sure. Have I tried electric coaches? I've never driven an electric coach, but I've driven an electric, like, uh, bus. I've uh, never driven an electric coach. No. There's a problem here in Ireland. They really want them, but we can't get the infrastructure. You know, for a depot to have... Our depot has something like 150-something buses, and if you went all electric, like, we don't have the infrastructure to charge them. They'd be absolutely screwed. So, it's a huge problem. Like, it's a great idea. But without infrastructure and investment, it's not going to happen. And a lot of bus companies here are saying that they'll go bust if, if they have to implement all this stuff. Uh, I'm missing chats here. I do apologize. I'm trying. I know mobile phones aren't allowed in the UK while driving. Uh, phones are allowed as long as you have the handbrake on and the bus is in neutral or in a parked uh, bus stop. You can in the UK. It's not that much of a big deal. People make it into a bigger deal than it really is. But here in Ireland, they need it to contact us because there's no other way. You remember here in Ireland, it's like being in the medieval times compared to some countries. 
you know abortions only just come in, in like two years three years ago they're only finally allowing abortions now you know things like that we're so far behind on on the rest of the world we don't even have like proper wi-fi uh you, well we have wi-fi of course obviously but we don't have like super speeds we don't have broadband everywhere only dublin dublin gets everything as gary knows i have a huge love for dublin transport hello east midlands you can't i can't what use your phone you can even if you're in a driving cab you cannot use your phone in the cab yes you can east midlands railway don't argue with me i've driven buses for nine years <laughs> you can you're allowed to use your mobile because if you need it in case of an emergency uh, if you say you need the police or the fire department if you can't get a hold of your contact is through your ibis machines uh if there's any anything that's ever happened collisions or anything like that you, sometimes you might be out of an area for the bus to get calls you, you you might allowed to use your mobile but the rule is and it's in the it's in the road authorities road book you can only use your mobile phone when the bus has the handbrake on the bus is in neutral and a safe position which generally means a bus stop lay by you can use your phone in the cab only in those conditions so you can Uh, in Kilkenny, I saw a guardy eating a cornet uh, and a phone in the other hand. Yeah, the Irish guardy are the worst. Absolute worst out of anybody and everybody, in fairness. <laughs> in Ireland, it's a completely different rule set. Different rule set here in Ireland. Do as you want. You'll never be sacked. The union is too strong. The highway code was changed recently. You cannot use that at all while in the cab of a vehicle. Again, you can. Pr show me in the highway code where it's changed. Ch show me. Yeah, you're not allowed to drive and eat. How do I get into Simi Connect? Uh, once you have BCS, uh, you'll go into multiplayer and you'll see us. I'm not going to argue about it because I do CPC every year. I've been driving a long time. You're not allowed to drive with your phone. Of course not. That's just stupid. You'll find that it's not actually the uh, rules that prohibit it, it's the companies that prohibit it. But again, under certain circumstances, you can use your phone in the cab as long as the conditions are met of buses in a safe, uh, neutral, engine off, handbrake on, uh, you are more than welcome to use your mobile phone. Laws changed last year, this year, the only time you can use it now is while driving seats in your drive throughs but your handbrake has to be on. There are certain conditions. Well, I'm not going to drive a bus. Oh, mate, you know, we're going we're gonna to do something tonight. You know, that's not going to happen, is it? Who does that? There are conditions that allow you to use your mobile phone. Have I driven scan your buses? If so, what it's like? Um, for me, I find the scanners, the powerful. You know, you really feel them behind you, under your feet. Oh, crap. Why did I quit the company? Like I said, you can as long as the bus has met certain conditions. And that's all I've ever said. Certain conditions. Unless you're here in Ireland. You know, once I'm in a bus stop, I have to use my phone if the controllers are called me or whatever. Anyways, what are we going to do next? I'm not going to keep arguing about something that... Okay, so... Uh, Plimco? Do we? Do we not? No, it's a London bus, isn't it? Uh, Smarden? No, I'm not going to do Smarden. Screw that. Okay, where do we want me to drive next? I can't do Gainsborough because we don't have the uh, permissions. Someone's already taken the last tours of the day. I can do a phase two. I think that's the one we did yesterday, wasn't it? So let's do something else. What else? Sh should we have a look at the extra lines on Yorkshire? I'm pretty sure I put them in this time. Or have I not? I've installed the mod and it says I haven't. That's really annoying me. Too many people being killed because of stupid drivers using their phones. That would be more on cars than anything else. Let's be honest.
What do we fancy doing next then, guys? I'll give you a few seconds to decide. Okay, just to prove you're wrong, this is from the R this is from the English government. I haven't frozen. So again, if you are in a safe stationary position with the handbrake on in neutral, and that is today's RAC mobile phone laws, including large vehicles. So there we go. Enough said. And that is from 2020. There's been no law change. Now, a lot of mobile phone laws when it comes to buses. Uh, generally, it's the company rules. What do we want to drive? Smarden. Why does people want Smarden? What is wrong with you people? Uh, transport comes. That comes for all motor vehicles. Don't do Smarden, it's too tight. Yeah, I'm not doing Smarden. Currently driving a B8 in Gainsborough Phase 3. I don't know what to do. People want Strashes, so we could do one of them, I suppose. Um... Another 51's new. What's the time? So 1915. Uh, interchange, park and ride. That's a new one, isn't it? Interchange to interchange. 1920, 15 minutes. Okay, let's go for that one. We'll try and do a couple of short runs on different maps tonight. I am not doing smarten. Maybe, maybe on the last one, but it's just uh, a pain in the ass. All these buses are too big. East Midlands Railway. Um, are you, I mean, I train every year for my CPC. I just got that off the British website for the RAC. That's not even the Irish rules. <laughs> and again, another bus driver is now telling you to. <laughs> so you're wrong, mate. You're wrong. Generally, it's companies that will state that you can, you know, you're not supposed to ever use your mobile phone. Uh, but here in Ireland, you can. Like I said, we need it. What should we drive? It was the Eco Mat that people wanted that we hadn't drive. So this is the Gasket Eco Mat uh, B7, on the Veiling 2. That's what we're going to drive next, because uh, that's exactly what people wanted yesterday. So the Eco Mat is the other variant that we haven't driven yet. Uh, we got the E4 here, the Euro 4 Gasket. So we're going to take that. Okay, apparently it's giving us the right hoff. We'll see. We'll take Tim with us again. Let's go. Did MS give an update on whether the Bendy will get squeaky sounds or not? Uh, I did say to him yesterday, I don't know. I'd say doubtful at this, this stage. A 
I mean, uh, don't know if I will say Idland, East Midlands Railway, how old are you? You know, I've been driving a long time. I'm not taking the bendy on this one because uh, I don't know that we got to the hospital or not. Don't think we have a half show in the company, do we? Uh, we do, didn't we? So anyways, enough of that. We're not going to talk about that again. Uh, Max never came back. He absolutely ditched me. Absolutely. Somebody asked me about branding patches as well. I didn't realize the lights were in my face. Um, I, 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 know, I don't know anything about these things. Oh, Max is back. Everyone wants Max. Come on, Max. Max, come here. You're a bloody donut. Come here. Max. He's chewing a bone. I do apologize. He's quite happy with himself. Uh, have I missed the update for this map? Uh, this it's not. Ow! It's not an update as. It's not an update as such. It was a line expansion by Michael. Doggo, he, he's desperate to get down because he's chewing. But here we go. Max has said hello. He's. I know everyone's desperate to say hello. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. Oh. oh. Sophie's come now. And then we got a schnauzer. Here's Sophie. She's an old girl now. But she wanted attention. Does he shed hair? Um, he will a lot when he gets bigger. At the moment, he's still kind of got puppy hair, so it's not so bad. Let the dog drive. <laughs> what about Sophie? Everyone's saying about Max. What about Sophie? She's a lot quieter. She would happily drive this bus. She wants to be held properly, though. And this one doesn't shed hair. It's just that uh, schnauzers don't. All the dogs want attention. To be fair, Max doesn't. He just wants to chew his bone. Sophie looks furious. <laughs> she doesn't look particularly happy, does she? Do you want to get back down? That's all it is. People are scaring you. Go on in. <sighs> Oh, you have a pug. Nice. Max, we love you. <laughs> Maybe I'll make him a part of my new merch that's coming. Put a big picture of Max on the front for you guys. Yeah, well, Sophie is an old girl now, so she's a lot quieter. Max is just a nutcase still. Choose everything. Wanted to get a dog. I can't with the daughter's allergies. Ah, just give us some of those, what you call them, pills. You know, the ones you gotta take every day. Apparently get a schnauzer, because they don't shed hair, so people with allergies don't have a problem. So, if you, maybe you could look into schnauzers, Gary. Not cheap. I think she's furious that the renown isn't out yet. <laughs> no one's gonna let that drop. Ruby, nice name. I uh, just DM'd EMRF about what he said about the rules and he replied, meh, why'd I care? <laughs> uh, do Sophie and Max. All right. My parents have a Jack Russell. Everyone will buy merch of dogs. Oh, fair enough. That was me putting buses and stuff on the front. There's no need. Okay, the repaint works. Uh, so that's always a good start. I hadn't actually tested this one out, I don't think. Oh, no, it's the same repaint, isn't it, this one? Uh, haven't fixed this one. I fixed some of them now. Uh, it has the ticker in this one. The other ones didn't. So here we go. B7, guys. This is the eco map. This is the one that we haven't tried yet. None of us, have, even I, haven't tried this one yet. Uh, so it's going to be our first go at it. First listen. 
see what we think hopefully this is all going to work out well so we're on the line 60 so this is the line pack uh from michael hadley he's done loads of line packs on the web disc for yorkshire strashir beijing horizon 16 he's working on hertfordshire i believe at some point in the future uh he's done the gamesborough 3 uh, extra lines which came out yesterday guys so if any of you want the extra lines on gamesborough version 3 it's now available on the web disc i will try and get you a link to that actually very quickly um because of some people interested yesterday uh so yeah he's done that and hopefully that will be on bcs at some point very very soon we can all hope okay mod for maps there we go that's what we want there you go there's the extra lines simply by the dog on the side okay have i have i done this what time are we leaving here 1920 nice okay uh, we'll have to use this uh what line were we oh it's gonna be one of them isn't it i have to have a look at the old map okay so i put the ticker in this uh version as a seven for the company oh bloody hell it is still loading in the map a little bit and i put the long uh, mirrors on this one as well so this one has the long mirrors so we haven't seen the long mirrors yet uh, like i said actually i was supposed to do it before this run after this run we're going to look through the set the list uh but here we go i put long mirrors on this variant so if anyone's looking for the long mirrors this is where they're going to be okay let's turn her on <laughs> if you don't mention it we might never see it Okay, I have no idea what I've got to put into here. Uh, town service one. Why don't I see the town service in here? Oh, it's loaded in the old one. Before I deleted them. Let's have a look. This is what we had a problem with yesterday. Yeah, we wanted the version two, didn't we? Bugger. Okay, we might have to reload in the bus and see what happens. Uh, let me just put this in the bus. Okay, before we go too far then. We've got to reload the bus and see what happens. Yeah, I just had to move it into the bus folder. So if any of you will be looking for it when it does come out, it's under uh, Master Bus. That's what it's going to be under. Uh, it's probably the set verb. We yesterday's one didn't have the newer style. I had the orange one in the voice that we used yesterday. Okay, I'm looking for the eco map. E4 gasket is what we had, wasn't it? That's a two door. I don't think the other one was a two door, was it?
Sweet. I mean, it's the only one there, so it has to be it, right? Uh, the surprise is he's done it for Roblox, not uh, not Omzi. It was a single door. Oh bugger! Uh, it's okay. It's the same thing, right? It's the eco map. It's the E4. It's the gasket variant, but this is the two door. For me, I love the streetlight pack because it was the first buses I ever drove. My first job was with first. And the first bus they ever put me in was a streetlight, so let's just check is this gonna work. Way it worked. Okay, we're doing a 60. Going at five minutes. We're drawn and we were the 60 town service. You will be glad to know Max has just come back by my side. Still chewing his bone. D3D is working on Olympian. <laughs> I always hear this bus has been worked on. Uh, how are those street shites to drive? I actually like driving them. Like I said, it's just fond memories. I just passed my test and the first bus they threw me in. Like, I'll never forget that, that moment for the first time going out there with my license after my route training on my own. You know, you'll never forget that moment. So, I'm always going to say nice things about a streetlight. Nothing I can do about that. It's probably terrible to drive, but in my head, it feels really good. <laughs> no, it feels it feels alright. It, it feels cheap, like the dashboard and stuff. It, it does feel cheap, like the, the it, it, you know. But it's not a bad bus. It's not a bad bus. When you put your foot down and stuff, it, they used to go. That's for sure. Okay, let's sign into our uh, Wayfarer machine. Uh, six, nine, two, zero, two, one. Pin is three, nine, two, two. So yeah, like, it's a difficult one. I, I like the street lights. I can see why people don't, like they are, I, I don't know, I've never been a passenger in one. I've only ever driven them. <laughs> so I don't know what that's like as a passenger. I can imagine it, the seats being quite hard and a bit a bit crap. But yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It is personal preference, of course. Uh, can you pick up your own routes you want to drive? Recommend what you want to drive for, for first or no? No, so it just depends on your board. So you get to apply for boards it always it's in uh, seniority and it's, a, it's it's literally a case of that's my pickup point there that is so gonna be my pickup point anyways we're two minutes before leaving so we'll just wait here for a second um i was very lucky when i first started uh they train me on every every route that's what they do all companies do it. they'll train you on everything and if you're a spare driver, you'll just cover what you need to cover. Or if you get a board, you'll be, you might get set three or four routes. Sometimes, like here in Ireland, we actually do all the routes, and it's equal between everybody. Same weekends and all that kind of stuff. Now, it, it literally just depends. I used to love driving the B7 when I was at first, better than the streetlights. They didn't have any B7s when I worked for first. It was all uh, streetlights, all streetlights. And they had a couple of those Volvos that go to the airport, and that was it. They're horrific, are they? <laughs> yeah, I, I can probably see why they're horrific, but uh, you know, like I said, that first day out on your own, you'll never forget. Let's go listen to some noises while we're waiting. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to pick up, so. Oh, this is a repaint that I fixed. Look, I put the Sydney Connect on the bonnet properly. Engine sounds alright. Got a nice crumble to that.
I quite like all the dual doors better than the single doors. Uh, we didn't have dual doors. I wish they did. I think dual doors are so much nicer. Um, got the old style coach seats in this one. Just to mix it up. Virtual hub. Okay, we're good to get out of it anyway, so we'll start moving. So this is a circular. This is one of the line packs from uh, Michael. And this has actually recently been updated as well, so... Can you open the back doors? I want to hear them. Yeah, we can open the back doors. Shush, don't tell everyone. Uh, I'm more than happy to answer everyone's questions. I'm trying to spin around for the bloody doors. Oh, this is dual door. This doesn't have an emergency door. The emergency door is the door. <laughs> B10 Royal. Ooh, yeah, imagine having a B10 Royal. That'd be sweet. I don't think it'll ever happen. Opinions on Steam Keys. Uh, what do you mean by opinions? Remind me of them on the Pulsar. Yeah, like I said, after this run, we'll go through the set the list. Uh, nice traffic lights. Yeah, I know, I know. It's a friggin' Roadhog pack. For some reason, every time you install it, and I must admit, since the last time we did this, I haven't installed it again. Um, but that's what I'm blaming. It's always the friggin' same. It did it on Scumforp as well just then. This B7 has got a nice little howl, hasn't it? We had Euro 5s at work, and, like, the, the basic Eco Life E5 sounds really good. But we'll get a seat up the back as we pull away. Well, we'll try. Can anyone see the lights? Just gone through a car that I think these are the unpolished wheels as well. Oh, gone for a car that. Is it true they put Irish Reg is in for the repaints? I will confirm that with you in a minute, Gary. I didn't see them, but like I said, I haven't, you know, I'm not a master painter. I don't go looking for every single file. <sighs> I think they've done an awesome job with the sounds. OMSI stuff is always getting better and better for sure. I think the only problem that we have with this pack is with Sport for Choice. There's so many good sounding buses. Like, having a bus company is so hard because it's going to be very hard to make sure we have enough of everything. But, you know, we'll have to share a little bit. You know, we can't buy buses to the end of the world. But we'll have enough that everyone will be able to drive something. You just might not necessarily get the exact variant you want to start with. Just keep that in mind, anyone in the bus company. 
Uh, there are Northern Ireland reg plates, are there? Does that type Wayfarer ticket machine accept contactless in real life? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, it does. Sorry. Yeah, it does. One more about. But it works a bit differently. So we have these at work. Well, we did. They've recently just changed these out. So you put your card on the top, but you have to leave it there for like five seconds before it registers the card. And then we can press a button. It's not just like tap on, tap off. It's literally you got to hold your card down until the driver puts in the, the, the fare. Now, that might not be for all of these machines, but our ones that we were using were friggin' crap. I think they had to be adapted for the contactless, but they did take contactless payment because I said ours do. Badly, but they do take them. Ugh. I'm trying to read the chat. Okay, so this is the Euro 4 Eco map, yeah. Sorry for bringing up about what happened earlier, but I've just realized who the EMRF is. He got kicked out of the NCT group for being rude towards the drivers. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, got sick of telling passengers to leave the cards on the reader. Yeah, it was the worst thing because people put it on. Like if they've been to Dublin for the day and they come back to Galway or they're from Dublin and they're spending a the weekend in Galway, they tap their cards and they think it's okay. I'm like, no, 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 come back, come back, come back. Like, why, why, why? I'm not doing it again. I paid now. Yeah, you get a lot of this crap. They are god awful. Wayfarers were definitely easier than like the old proper module ones. Like when I first got into bus driving, those ones that just had loads of keys everywhere. Uh, they were. Uh, bloody nightmare to remember. Once you kind of got the hang of it, it wasn't so bad. They were the ones that had the, the like, the one-line screens and stuff like that. I'd say uh, Glenn B knows what I'm on about. He probably knows the exact name of them. I can't bloody remember. But, um, they were worse than these Wayfarers. I would take these any day over them old proper moduled ones. They were horrible. Uh, have I lived in Ireland all my life? No. Oh, bloody back door. Um, I work for National Express uh, Heathrow, so no. And I work for Fair, so yeah, definitely no. Um, no. The Wayfair of Threes, is that what they're called? There we go. They were friggin' horrible. I remember my first day of training with one of them. And I looked at that bloody machine, I thought, Jesus Christ. And the guy teaching me was like, oh, if you need to do this, you need like, 10 buttons to get one ticket. And I was like, how the f are you going to remember that crap? It does come to you, but yeah, thankfully they went pretty quick because <laughs> they were horrible. Uh, the Wayfarers in Edinburgh work instantly. Uh, really? They must have been upgraded or something because the ones that we have, the. Ours were ex London ones. I think they were put into London at Bus Aaron, but they weren't good enough, so they ripped them out and they sold them all to Bus Aaron. I think uh, that's what the, the training inspector told me. Um, so they got them on the cheap, but yeah, the software wasn't up to scratch. Not in a million years. <laughs> God. <laughs> Gotta love people. Should have gone a bit wider there. Could we get another rear interior pull away, please? Yep. Yeah. Um, on the way back, there's a really nice straight. I can see it now. You still got your old wafer over in the cupboard. Got it connected up to a. Oh, yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, not. Uh, we go straight down here. Sorry. I'm not done this route. Yeah, those wayfarers, I absolutely hated with a passion. These ones. 
They're okay, but they're just slow. Less than 10 minutes until the bus driver giveaway results. Oh, nice. Yep. Yeah, uh, after the, the end of the stream, we'll do the one for the main stream, all right? Can you get a bit of a kick down if you can? I'll give it a shot. Uh, just let me get around this little bit here, and then we'll be back onto a nice straight, and uh, we'll do it again. What I say is the best company in Dublin. Well, let's be honest, there's there's one company, Dublin Bus. <laughs> there's the only company. But Bus Aaron do kind of the long distance routes out of Dublin. They don't do city service in Dublin. It's all cross country, so I work for Bus Aaron. Dublin Bus have their own bus company, but even though they're like a, a sister branch to us, same unions and stuff, they get a lot better terms and conditions than we do. Um, and then I, I believe there is a, is it Go Ahead or Go, go something but there now as well oh sorry I gotta pick up the, the young girl first I'll go I think I might take the bendy out <laughs> why not Go ahead, Island. That's the one. But they've only got like a couple of routes. Again, they're not. Well, they've got the city routes, haven't they? But, but look, Dublin Bus is the only bus company, really. There's a couple of private hacker coach companies and stuff, but you know. Someone just passed out. <laughs> Do you hear the big thump? Uh, who do you want? Ambulance, right? Okay, we've got to wait a few minutes for them. <laughs> some of the pedestrians are more ugly. Okay, got some EP for that. Nice. Kanzo, we went Dublin bus and bus errand together at one point. Look, we are together. Like I said, they're like our sister company. Um, we're under the same big wigs, but we're not, if that makes sense. It's really hard to explain to you. 
But basically, Dublin bus just get what they want. Two tracks on the Levante and Smart and didn't end well. Yeah, I bet. In with doors. Odd. I don't find them that odd. Uh, nice uniform. Well, what uniforms? Yeah, I didn't even look at my driver. Is it, am I in a woman's outfit? So the problem with this map it is hard work, isn't it? Oh yeah, look at me, looking smart. We'll give it a bit of a rag up the up here. I don't know why people think the doors are weird. I'm just yeah. I don't know if I'd like to walk around. Maybe like if you first got in like the depot bit, like you know. I was driving in the external view. What we don't see is you taking out all the cars. <laughs> yeah, I know. Alan plays games, hello, mate. Okay, so two giveaways have been announced in the driver's lounge. Uh, first bus has just won the key for the drivers and for the inspectors uh, James H has won but everyone's now saying it's a fix <laughs> for him so yeah he can he can part with that oh hang on we gotta go She got him away. Rally driving a B7. Uh, <laughs> I'm all over the place. We need a bit more air pressure. Uh, 
Okay, final stop of this map. For the Sydney Connect bus drivers, I might do one more before release. We'll see. Okay, I'm actually not sure. It's not here. It's, the, it's definitely the next one, isn't it? Or is it there? Okay. Run done. Pressing the wrong button for the handbrake. I suppose actually some of you might want to hear it turn off. There we go, that's the eco map variant. Sounds awesome. Looks stunning, doesn't it? Half my repainting skills are absolute crap. Other than that, it looks great. Yeah, we accidentally did the wrong one. Uh, we're going to take another one out, probably. Yeah, set the list, here we come. I think that's what everyone wants to see. Uh, really did not make much money on that one, did we? So we'll talk about the set the list for a little bit. Uh, we'll do the last run, and then we'll do the giveaway at the end. Uh, so make sure, guys, if you're on the giveaway, make sure you're on the Discord. Otherwise, if you're not there to claim it on day of release, uh, I will just put it back up for another giveaway. So make sure you are in the Discord. Make sure you get the bus driver rolls, and if you do win, and I don't know who you are in Discord, uh, please make sure you uh, just uh, point out to me who you are. Sounds awesome, as well as the line pack. <laughs> Biased. Now nah, the line packs are awesome. Michael has done so much for BCS recently. Not a lot of people don't like when people add extra stuff in, but my god, some of these maps have needed it. No de uh, release date as of yet. Uh, Aerosoft sent out their keys today to content creators, so there'll be a lot more content on YouTube, I'm sure. I think there's a few videos posted today even. Uh, so you're going to start seeing a lot more. So I can't imagine it being too long. Okay, so set the list. Uh, I need to find it. What have I done with it? Here we go. So to set our list itself then, if we just bring it up here, I'll make it just a little bit bigger. So we've got the uh, aircon, so we've got driver's aircon, passenger aircon, flat roof. Uh, we've got the assault screens, so you've got no assault screen or full assault screen, that's what they call auto ramps. So if you want your manual, your electric, I think all of ours are on electric, I need to change some of them around. Uh, it just looks a bit weird with the electric in my eyes. Uh, yeah, games, it's okay, I don't know about you. I'm not, I'm not sure what we're going to drive, I think we're either going to do a B7 or the Falcon. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Um, destination type, so you got the Mobitech display system or the Hanover display system. So we did the Hanover in the last one, the first few the, uh, being the Mobitech. Uh, fogs, so you can have front fog lights or none. Uh, text displays, so you can see. It's up to you there. Uh, the light strip that is on the buses, you probably noticed the last couple, there's been light strips on all of them. I need to take it off some of them. Oh, it's on the stealth variants. All the stealths have them. I need to turn some of them off. I'm not a big fan of this light strip, in all honesty. Light up logo. Requires both light map, retexture, regular unit. Okay, that's fine. Um, loose nut indicators. So small pointed indicators, extra pointed indicators, or connected wire indicators. So that's pretty cool. Mirror types. So this is what I was messing with earlier. The one that we had before the bus didn't load in the right half was the Spasfex uh, mirrors long. So you've got Ashtray mirrors, short and split. Uh, camera is only available on the stealth bodywork vehicles. Uh, so the MSID, top screen announcements, if you want that in there. 
or not it's up to you uh, off, off, uh, offside display again can put, uh, enables a small offside display behind the driver it's up to you guys if you want that on or off uh, peak windows uh, the rear bumper so you can have the standard the flat only available on the B7 we've got the reg uh, plate style so you've got UK brand uh, we've got EU, GB and uh, UK island plates, island band so there we go Gary you've just had your question answered island plates are in I didn't even notice that uh, might actually put some on our buses uh, replacement di uh, dials so change the type of dials used so you've got the standard Euro 4 dials or the replacement Euro 6 only available on the B7s uh, so there we go you can replace the dials what you want to use rim type so that last bus was on the standard uh, most of the other ones that we've done have been on the chrome uh, here's your seat types you've got the version 2 seating civics lazzarini low back high back uh, the six meter seating the telmac telford 20 seating uh, so yeah five is not available on the hawk very small displays okay so visible spreads ceiling spreads enabled if you want to use them sun shields telematics these are fully working telematics by the way uh, ticket machines if so if you want the Wayfarer or the ticketer you can choose uh, the, the Volvo display badges uh, it does require the branding patch that I don't know obviously I'm expecting it to be out the same time as the pack uh, I don't have the branding pack uh, display front white badge I suppose I could have put that on it requires, oh no, it requires branding pack as well doesn't it uh, wheel trims so you can put nut rings on them if you want uh, all that kind of good stuff and white displays if you want them modern orange uh, modern white or the orange so there you go that is your set bar list just so you guys know can you drive the b7 smart and with the giveaway you just won uh, he well he, he can probably do a video when it comes out but obviously no keys will be given until release okay let's have a look what's up here just in case we have one run uh, the company have now completed the uh, reward so there we go we needed 16,000 we're currently on 18,000.4 uh, none of these maps are any good to us so yeah that's pretty cool so we've got one more run in us something short uh, what have we got shall we do an 83a west country or yorkshire i really don't want to do smarten that nah. so what do you want do you want to do park and ride or do we want to do an 83a i wonder if ms included the irish reg to nod that they're doing a dublin map i don't think ms are doing a dublin map are they not that i know of maybe it'd be great if they did here in Ireland, we don't get nothing in train simulator. We don't get nothing in bus simulator. We don't get nothing in truck simulator. You know, Ireland is neglected. Obviously, it's about population. Uh, do you know when it'll be released? Not yet, no. Falcon on the 83A. Okay, I'm going to go with the first one that came in just to make my life easy. Uh, 2003, that's just going to give us enough time. So we're going to go from the police station. And we're going to take the Falcon out. Yeah, I like the Falcon too. Boy, it's hot <laughs> and then we'll do our giveaway and then we are done 83 and the runways and x-plane are crap too <laughs> oh yeah no <laughs> i don't get nothing with uh, look obviously it's population irish people are going to buy irish stuff english people buy english stuff german people will buy you know we all mix as well look, if a dublin map came out majority of us would buy it but it's still that point so at the moment here is all our veiling buses in the company just so you know what we got so far so we've got a b7 two-door voif e4 we got a uh, eco mat e4 gasket we have an eco life e5 gasket we have a voif e4 gasket uh, we have an eco mat e4 gasket two doors and one doors by the way for people wondering i'm just not saying the two doors so two door eco life e5 uh, single door e5 we got two articulated just so you guys know uh we got the falcon two door and the falcon one door i'm not going to get any other falcons because i don't think they're going to be used as much and no more articulates 
because I think people will get bored with these pretty quickly. I just know people are like, you know, they, they love the gimmick for a bit of fun, but they'll want to drive these. This is what people are after. Uh, so we'll stick with two. One might disappear in a month or two time. Uh, what else did I get up here? And then we got one at the moment of the 13.1 Stealth. In the single decker garage, I've sold another B8. So there's two standard B8s that came with Yorkshire still in there. I'm going to put that down to one and I'm going to buy a variant of each of the new uh, ones. So there's a double door, there's a B8 double door, there's another one there as well. Uh, I can't think what it is, but yeah, so that's what's going to happen so you guys know. And there will be uh, another B7 will go there and probably fill up here as well. So there's going to be plenty for everybody. You know, you might not get the variant you want straight away, but you'll get something to drive for sure. You know, I never see more than 10 to 15 drivers at a time. And some people will still drive left hand or whatever. Okay, so we're going to drive the Falcon 2 door on our last run. Uh, SP Hoff. Interesting way it gives me that, doesn't it? I'm just going to take it from the bus because I never trust it. Um... Miss F wants the 83 as well. Interesting. Okay, so, uh, where the bloody hell is it? Uh, the veiling, there it is. Uh, Yorkshire 3. Uh, Tim's available. I didn't use him on the last one. I've not really been busy enough. Oh no, Tim's not available. Is Leo available? Well, we'll take Leo. <clears throat> Just watch out for your DMs on release. Look guys, the company can only afford so many. There's only so many spaces. I know people are going to really want them. But what's going to be in there is going to be nearly over 15 new buses. Like I said, I've never seen more than 15 people at a time. We just have to work together a little bit. Like there's only so much you can do. Uh, Imran's now in the company. Nice mate. Nice to see you in the company. Great to have you here. You left the Discord earlier, Imran. Was that you that left? I was a bit surprised. What depot are these all sitting in at the moment? They're sitting in depot three. So you have to go to the longest depot to get them. Uh, and some of the new variants of the B8, like the double door and stuff, like I said, will be in the single deck of the newer variants. I might even move the Falcons in there yet and put a few more B7s in there. Uh, I'm still playing with what I'm doing. Uh, there's, there's a few variants aren't painted yet. So I'm still just kind of going through the gears, uh, getting them done. Once I've had the repaints done, I'm adding buses to the company at the same time so I know what's ticked off my list. So, yeah. <laughs> By accident. We've all heard it now. Can't wait for the pack of garden. I don't want to give away. Can't be long, obviously, so don't make it for that one. Yeah, look, I don't know. There's no release date. Of course, we're all waiting for a release date. Uh, absolutely. And remember, please don't hog the bus all day. Yeah, look, just be fair to each other. Like, with BCS, like I said, it's just a bit more trickier because of depot space. Our depots are full. We've only got nine depots. We've got buses everywhere that are all being used. I've just deleted all the ones that weren't used. I've moved all the buses around. I still might get rid of a few. There will be enough buses. But like I said, if, if there's just one variant that you want, that it might be busy. Just, just take another variant, you know. Drive all of them. Uh, I'll be using them on single player. Why not use them in the company? Makes no sense. So anyways, so yeah, but guys, bear, uh, bear in mind, there's going to be plenty. Like I said, I've never seen more than like 15 drivers on at once. There'll be more than 15 buses in there. So you, you, there'll be more than enough, more than enough. I'd be shocked if you all can't find a new bus of some sort. Uh, Prince, yeah, it's been good. If the bus is ready, why can't they set release as they won't be changed them if they won't change them? Uh, Bootstrap, I'm not a, a creator. I'm not a developer. Look, they've done their part. They've sent it to Aerosoft, obviously, because Aerosoft have handed out their keys to a lot more content creators today. Um, I was very lucky. I got mine before. Big thank you to the Master Switch again for allowing us uh, a little bit of early access to showcase it for you guys. Um, so now Aerosoft have it. They're, they're allowing people to do things with no restrictions. I think it comes down to Aerosoft more than anybody else. I don't know though. I really don't know. You know, 
we, we, we could be three weeks away, four weeks away. We could be two weeks away. I don't know. Changes might be still made. Even though it goes out to content creation, you know, they might be watching a lot of the streams. They could be here now. They might be having a little nose. They might see things themselves more than what we do. You know. He's back off on another holiday now. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Uh, how long has OMSI 2 been out for? Uh, what, 10, 15 years? I no, no, not 15 years, but about 10 years now. I think this is not a problem. Okay, so we're back in the Falcon. I thought that talk talk sign was in the bus then. I was thinking, what? Okay, look, Imran has just entered the premises. Good man, good man. There we go. Imran is in the companies. Good to see. We have a you are our 100 driver, Imran. I feel like I need to give you some sort of special praise of some sort. Make sure you come to Discord again, and I'll give you the role for the driver so you can see all the driver stuff, uh, Imran, as well. Anyone else that has joined the company, please message me so I can give you the roles. It's very hard to catch everybody that just joins onto here. Uh, so just DM me and I'll sort that out. Okay, 83A. 83A. Nice route, this one. Uh, Monday to Friday, 1. 2003. Sounds good. Oh, we can actually use the things, can't we? I'm going to change this to the ticketer before anyone panics. Uh, all the new buses will have ticketer, not this old Wayfarer system. It's just I use their um, CTI files to start with, and I've just started changing them, and I need to write that. I haven't changed the Falcon because I thought I had. Maybe it's the single door I changed, not the double door. So obviously I changed the single door, but not the double door. Awesome. Okay, lights are on. Let's load into this bad boy again. Obviously, you guys can be a lot more realistic of whatever you put in here. Okay, so we're doing the 83A. Can't remember how I got this working yesterday. No. Clear. 83. I didn't like that. 83. Can I put A? I need to work out how to use this properly. Let me bring up the manual here. Okay, let's just scroll up quickly. Need to learn this thing anyways. Okay, destination code. Press F1 to start destination code. Uh, use the number pad to enter your desired destination code. Number pad, use this to enter your destination code for your desired route. You can find a list behind the driver's seat if the map half has one. Okay. Sweet. Uh, 83A, 83A, 83A. Oh, yeah. One, eight, three. One, eight, three, eighty-three, eight. 83 a there we go, lovely jubbly, that's what we want, we're all logged in, there we go, we've got the display up here, So are you a beta tester at this or is your copy from MS mate? Uh, Mike, so basically um, I'm not a beta tester for this. Um, 
Am I on the wrong side of the road? Oh shit, I am. No, there's me not paying attention. Um, basically, they just contacted me and said, uh, you're more than free to uh, do some content now if you want. And I said, yes, of course. I wasn't going to say no. Uh, so yeah, I'm not a beta tester. Yeah, I quite like this Falcon. I'm not going to lie. Uh, inside a gamer. Sorry, what? Someone's. What's happened? What's your Discord name? I will have a look. Uh, who mine? Oh wow! I'm so confused. What's going on here? As soon as the veiling is out, I'll be back driving on OMSI regularly and I'll upload the Hanover mods. Yeah, I think everybody wants the Hanover mods. It's the only reason why people come to my Discord. <laughs> Have you got the 200, mate? Uh, I'm afraid not. Everyone's going to buy a ticket. I'm trying to work out what have I missed here. Is this the last run, mate? I've got to head off soon. Yeah, this is the last run of the night. Have an updated hot file with all the new routes from the extra packs if you want it. Oh, Hannah, yes. Please. Please, please, please. I, I was missing everything. I was too focused on uh, myself. Uh, Aerosoft better hurry up. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure they, uh, you know, when they think everything's ready and everything's good to go, I'm sure they will. Bloody back door, come on. Are we due out now or? Four minutes past, yeah. All good. Let's set ourselves up nicely here. Yeah, if you have an updated Hoff, please do. Uh, I turn out at the police station. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, imagine a ZF gearbox in this. So the Falcon is basically a street light with a different body. It's more like the uh, street deck, single decker. Will the repaints keep the standing tier? No. Um, like I said, I've just been trying to get them all out. So on release, you guys would have all the repaints at least. And then over time, I'll start doing all the seats and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I will do it eventually. Just don't don't go crazy at me if they're not done like day one. Because it probably won't happen. You hate the street deck? I don't mind the street decks. They're all right. I'm sure it won't be long and maybe B-Dot might have some up-to-date ones as well for the Hanover mods. You prefer the other dashboard? I quite like it as a single decker though. I think I got banned for spam scam links or something like that. Uh, I'll be honest, you transport fan, I have no idea, but I'm sure the moderators had a reason. I don't always know what's going on. Uh, can it fly? Jared Reed, not quite. So yeah, this is our last route. It's going to be my last stream on it uh, before it probably be released. I'd imagine. Um, but never know. Might get another one, might not. Like I said, all the other content creators now have stuff out. Uh, 
Chloe Cross did a video today. Glen B Gaming did a video today. Uh, I'm sure it won't be long before we see other videos from other YouTubers as well, if not already there today that I just haven't seen yet. Uh, so it's nice to let them have a look at what they're doing, see what they think of the buses, etc. The next stop is Redwood Station. Good evening, I watched the other streams the other day. Oh nice, at least he's still here. I only done a Kruger one and a basic MS one. That's good enough for me. How loud should this run last for? Just need to go do something. This should last probably about 15 minutes, right? This isn't VA. <laughs> All right, if you make one, can you send me one on Discord? Everyone wants one now. What's it look like on the outside? Uh, a bunch of trees. A stealth speed camera. Oh, yeah. So I'm not going fast enough. Uh, DRB, no worries, mate. Catch you later. Kind of finding the tights are on Smarten for the Bendy. <laughs> the circular would be a bit of a pain in the ass. Max is looking forward to the release. I think everyone's looking forward to the release now. That's why I don't want to overdo it. Uh, I asked yesterday. A lot of people didn't want me to stream today. They kind of wanted to wait and see more for themselves. But we did one more, as I promised. We covered most of the variants in some way or another. You know, might not have done every single one, one door, two door, and all that. But we have covered uh, the basics and the bases of all of them. We've looked at the set by lists and. Uh, I'm about to say I'm excited for it to be released. I'm bloody using them. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's it's great that we have them. It's great that they're out. Or coming out. I look forward to seeing what everybody thinks in the company of them. All your screenshots and the company repaints. Uh, all those kind of good things. Can't wait to see all of those. Can't wait to see all the other repaints that come out. I've seen that uh, a few people have started making some repaints that are beta testers. I saw some somewhere in one of the Discord lounges. Could tell you which one right at the top of my head. Yeah, I quite can't wait to see everything that everyone gets up to. PC Games, how's it going? So I haven't been on very much. Still on the road with the trainer. Should be home by next week and upgraded to my own truck. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, I'll use a ticket inspect on this bus. The next stop is Hills with Connor. Okay guys, so due to the RTC and subsequent fatality, all of uh, service 83, 80 mobiles are to terminate at Westfield Police Headquarters. Um, you will go down to Westfield Roundabout and you turn back to the police station to resume your services to wait for the interchange. Um, please, when you're standing at the police station, please can you turn off your engines to avoid the complaints of the residents as we are getting quite a few of those. What's um, been my favourite? Um, all 83, 80 mobiles, you are now terminated at Westfield Police Headquarters. Uh, any questions? I think the two favorites for me have actually been the um, the Eco Life and the Eco Mat. The Euro 4 and the Euro 5. I think for me, them sounds, uh, especially the Euro 5, because it's got a big connection to work. Um, I actually feel like I'm driving the work bus. So, with the sounds and stuff, it's so immersive. Uh, it's pretty bog standard, but you know, people will have their favorites for sure. You know, I've loved the Falcons. I like this variant as well. Um, the Bendy's pretty cool. Nice to have. I'm sure it won't be long until we start seeing people driving it on London or something.
There's so much for you guys to play with. There's so many... Cool things. Ah, oh, the bendy is fun. I think it's a nice little touch, you know, we've got some serious buses in there, some serious sounds, like, like, you know, really nice stuff. And to have that as a bit of fun on the side, I love it. Uh, my day's been alright. Uh, is that that crap looking one? Yeah, that's the one he's on about. <laughs> is this the bendy note PMDG just released? Nice. Yeah, it was coming today. It was in Zulu time, so I couldn't be bothered to work out. Because everyone was saying different things. But awesome. Did you pick it up? Ugh. We will be flying tomorrow Main Streets, by the way, if you're around. Would you say I'm a good driver, as in what the game or real life? In real life, I think I'm a good driver. I've never had any complaints. The next stop is Hills at Corner. Not I know of. Uh, we will have it for tomorrow night. I'm sure of it. Everyone knows that Boeing's aren't quite my thing, though, so God knows what's going to happen. I reckon that the PMDG servers are probably on meltdown right now. I, uh, in the game, I'm my driver ratings and scores are very good on BCS, but look, when I'm live streaming, no. Look, I'm reading the chat that's on a whole new screen. We're just driving around and chatting and enjoying it, you know? Uh, so, <laughs> I wouldn't say right now I've been a good driver, no. What's on the dash? Have a look. PMTG does look nice, doesn't it? We're having a, a tile loading. Hey! This green thing. That's the. Uh, it's just regenerating the exhaust, isn't it? Uh, it's the DPF uh, regen in progress, yeah. Also, do you drive a wheel or keyboard? Wheel. Can you not see the wheel? I'm moving my hands. You have no idea how difficult it is to read a chat and drive. It's not the easiest. Uh, you don't want to see me driving a Mac then. <laughs> uh, right, I'm back. Nice. Uh, did you miss driving? Yeah. Oh, hang on. I'm secretly hoping that they'll make a hydrogen version of the Fusion like the ones Metro Brass and Crawley are getting in June. What the hell is PGDM? Uh, P <laughs> you said it the wrong way around. I'm not going to be able to say it the right way around. It's an, it's an airplane. Yeah, so I'll leave my hand up here for you. Like I said, I'm reading chat, so it's not the easiest. In real life, I'm not a bad bus driver. Do you like the Wayfarer or is there no ticker yet? There is ticker. Um, these are what I use in real life, uh, but I prefer the ticker, in all honesty. Uh, it's just uh, the setver on this one.
There was a hydro bus or an electric bus or something uh, came to Limerick today. It was on the news. It drove all the way from somewhere in Europe to here on one charge or some something they were going on about. I drive for bus errand. Well, I have to go gig 1,200 miles, run to Florida tonight and tomorrow. Oh, nice. Sounds good. What's the company you work for, or can't you say also so the questions? Uh, like I said, Bus Aaron. I don't think they uh, will have a problem. If they did, they would have told me. I've been making my own routes in Yorkshire with the working half 22 and 23 to Ashbury for Windhaven, fast X22. Oh, nice. You gonna upload them anywhere? Or you're just gonna keep them private. Uh, L94s slowly being withdrawn. I think now with all this, uh, you know, we need to go green by 2050. I think a lot of places are going to be changing. A lot of the old diesel guzzlers, unfortunately. The next stop is Gilded Lane. No, it's my light that's on down there. And I have the uh, main beam on just so it looks a bit better on the stream. Uh, Danny Brooks, uh, looking to join the GTA server, is the server easy to set up? Yep, we actually literally have a link. Uh, all you have to have is GTA, download 5M, and uh, we have a link. You just click on the link, and it'll take you straight into our server. You don't download nothing, it all comes from uh, my server. So, yeah, easy as anything. It's not an indicator. Look, that's the indicator. It's the main beam. Or whatever it is. I can't turn it down. My, my main headlights are on. So it's not my left indicator. The next stop is Wavesworth Trackside. I can't really see. Uh, I went on one yesterday, High Peak Skyline. Absolutely love Scania Solars. Nice. Is there an app available on the Discord? I, uh, uh, which. Huh? Oh, it, it, it is an app available on the Discord, yeah. Thank you. If any of you do play 5M, we do have our very own uh, 5M server as well. Let me know. We'll probably uh, live stream on Wednesday uh, our 5M server. Normally we do it on a Sunday. School runs and stuff are a little bit different. It's always older buses and stuff. But as times move on, they'll all get taken off the road, as I reckon. Oh, was it? It's not very loud. The uh, the indicator on the on the Falcon, I must admit, with the engine. It's how they drive in France. You know, when they overtake, they leave the indicator on for ages while they overtake. The whole overtaking maneuver. They don't. Um, they don't just like turn it off now if you're going past someone. That's what I'm going to put it down to. <laughs> hey, to be honest with you, some buses I do the same. Like we have some really old Scania coaches. And you put the indicator on, but it's silent. And if it's sunny, you can't see the friggin' light bulb on the dash. And it's so old anyways, the, the bulb probably doesn't even work in the dash. And I end up driving most of the route for like three hours with the indicator on. No one says a word. What is the giveaway? It's for a pack of these buses. Have you ever had a Karen on your bus before? Uh, <laughs> of course. Just ignore them. Drive themselves home if they if they have that much of an issue. Uh, I see you haven't drove this five seven five route yet. Add on for map. For this map. Why is the bus in white? That's interesting. I'm being attacked by an inspector. <laughs> I can't believe I'm late. Alright, we're at the end of the route. We've done it. Max is back for the giveaway. 
He's hoping for a coffee to eat. It's weirdly silent there. Okay, that's a bit odd. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, that, that was the one that had the issues at the start. No, I, I didn't try it, I'll be honest with you. Mainly because of the issues. Let's get a good screenshot, I suppose. That'll win, but look, you got to take part, don't you? Don't take part, you won't win. Driving was only 20%, that was terrible. Okay, let's have a look then. How many people have entered? Currently there is 93. Okay guys, so if you haven't done it, make sure you don't keep doing it. But uh, a special mark veiling. Don't forget. So I'll give you guys two or three more minutes just to get it in if you haven't got it in. Seeing if anyone else, no one else has come in so far. Anyone else for anyone else? Uh, yeah, don't spam it. Mike Redding, hello. I don't know if you're new. I didn't see your name before. Will it enter me if I do it again? No, you don't need to do it again. If you've already done it, don't worry about it. Just in case there's anybody else, anybody else. Just give it one, one more minute. Don't see anyone else new come in. So I think we're all there. We're all good, aren't we? Cones. <laughs> uh, Mike Reddy, long time lurker, first time messenger. Well, hello, mate. <laughs> it's all good. Everyone's putting their cones. Ah, oh, Nightbot deleted the cones. Too many cones. <laughs> Doesn't like that many cones. Okay, guys, we're going to roll it. Uh, three, two, one. Uh, who won? Mackenzie Winslow. So there you go, Mackenzie Winslow. If you're on the Discord, make sure to message me. Uh, Prince is now getting deleted by Nightbot. <laughs> Everyone's spamming. Games UK is going to get deleted by Nightbot. Ugh. 
<laughs> well, congratulations to everyone that has picked up a key this evening. Uh, make sure to contact me on release of this bus pack. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the streams. Like I said, there's going to be a lot more content creators now releasing stuff. I might do a video or something. If you have any routes or anything you want me to do, let me know in the Discord. I might make a video. Um, but well done to Mackenzie. Well done to everybody else. Rigged. <laughs> everyone says that. It's weird. Um, but yeah, anyway, so look. Hopefully it won't be too long before we can all enjoy this pack together. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, eh? Hannah F. Don't you already have it, Hannah? Aren't you a beta tester? What do you need it for? But well done to everybody, well done. So look, there we go, guys. I'm going to leave it there for this evening. And um, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be flying tomorrow. I haven't flown in a while. The last two flight streams uh, didn't work out for me, so we will be back flying tomorrow. Hopefully I'll see some of you tomorrow. 100 on the games would be nice. Okay, that sounds good. I actually haven't covered the 100 yet, so it's something that I have to do. Um, I've been a little bit lazy on that one. But yeah, there we go. I will do the 100, actually. B7. E4. Fair enough. That is what I will do. Uh, but thank you to oh, I thought you did Hannah thank you to everyone that is taking part of this night thank you for all the mods the members Studio Polygon is here as well Hannah uh, East Coast Gamer Jared Reed, Romford Callie Edwards everyone in Simply Connect Bus Company if you want to come join us we're on the, uh, the public list and other than that for myself guys thank you to everyone and good night